All right, so I wrote this code called talks.python or py. Basically, you have a conversation with the computer. Here's the code real quick, real quick, real quick. All right. Pretty, not too comprehensive, but pretty into it for at least most people's levels. So to run the code, right click the file in the workspace, drop down and select run. So just do that and select run, or you can just do this. If you feel up to a challenge, try adding on to the conversation yourself. So those of you who feel up to the challenge, you can uh, look at the code right now and try to add on to it. Just remember to leave uh, this part right here at the bottom. When you reply to the computer, don't use punctuation or capital letters, all right? So let's run this. So, would you like to play a game? So let's say yes. Wonderful. Unfortunately, I am not programmed to play games. Hmm. What is your name? Let's do Keegan. Keegan is a great name. Nice to meet you, Keegan. How was your day? Was your day good or bad? Say bad. My idea was actually pretty good, but I'm sorry to hear that. Though I do not think there's anything I can do since I'm only computer programmed to do my programmer's bidding. Okay then. How old are you, Keegan? Twelve. So far as you get the scroll up with this part. There's only a small box here. I remember when I was twelve. That was the best time of my life. I think we had a good chat. Good day to you. Original author, Keegan Brown. Programmer name, I mean program name talks, thank you. So let's try this with different inputs. Let's say, would you like to play a game? No. That's okay, because I don't have any games programmed anyway. I just like copying Joshua from War Games. What is your name? Let's say, Billy. Billy is a great name. Nice to meet you, Billy. Was your day good or bad? Let's say, good. That's a good thing. I love when people have good days. How old are you, Billy? Let's say 34. I remember when I was 34, that was the best time of my life. You see, this this code takes in your raw input. And then, depending if your raw input is equal to the speech, say, if raw, in, if raw input equals good. So if c equals good then it prints out this if it equals bad it prints out this so yeah that's the code and feel free to add on to it if you feel up the challenge and yeah adios